This is a model of an LTM 1750, which is a Lieber 750 ton crane. I made an earlier model, an earlier video of this model, just showing the telescopic sections. And this video is going to show the luffing jib. Here you can see the weights and the different parts of the jib, the luffing jib. The base plate for the weights and the luffing winch. And in the distance, here's two more loads with more parts of the luffing jib. Now, all the rest of the parts have been delivered for the luffing jib and the crane has been set up, the cab has been swung into place, the base plate and all the ballast and the luffing jib, luffing winch are in place. So we'll start to set up the main boom extension and luffing jib now. So here we are now with all of the boom laid out on the ground. It's time to get the uh, Y guy suspension up and get the boom up in the air. Now, here we go with the Luffin jib boom extension on. Everything up, which is quite high at the moment underneath the head we have roughly 3 meters or 10 feet and since she's made at a scale of 1 to 20 that would have her up at 60 meters at the moment and I haven't let out any of the telescopic sections yet uh, there's 3 of them in it which gives another 700 per section, so that's another 2.1 meters. So it would be just over 5 meters, around 16 to 17 feet high. But I'm not going to let up the telescopic sections now because I don't have anybody here to help me, and it's very difficult to keep all of the lines running properly. The Y guy system is tensioned now. You can see there's a little pulley here, and I have a little peg, and I can put that peg in in about eight different places so I can get any tension I want on it. The luffing winch is the same idea, just a little peg in it, and the same with the main winch. The weights are hollow with scraps of lead inside to give weight because believe me this whole thing would be on the ground if it wasn't for them it's all made in softwood red deal and the pennant lines are done in string because a wooden pennant line would be so light it would be too weak I have one small problem here I've noticed one of my pennant lines is slightly longer than the other and it's holding the bridle a little bit off so that's something I'd have to correct before putting it up the full distance the cab as you can see tilts to about 20 degrees so the poor little driver doesn't get a crick in his neck looking up at the hook all that distance above him and the the door slides open and closed and I've tried to make the inside of the cab as close as I could to the real thing. I did the same with the driving cab. I'll make a video at a later stage of how I made all the parts, including the telescopic sections. If I zoom in close enough you might be able to see the curved section is done in small pieces cut at an angle to give me a curve when you join them all together. So 
So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. My next project is a Volvo FH16 truck. So, see you soon.